In Greek mythology, Prometheus defies the gods and gives fire to humanity. As punishment, he's chained to a cliff where every day a vulture eats his liver. That's still a better outcome than having to watch the movie named after him. In AVP Requiem, the predators are the gods. And also bumbling idiots, who mess up their hunting trip in the first movie so badly, it ends with Colorado getting nuked. The winner of this match faces Predator 2 in the finals, but since we get to stop watching one of these movies at the end of this match, we feel like the real winners. I'm James Heskey. And I'm Daryl Charles. And we're in the last semi-final match of the Alien vs Predator vs Aliens vs Predator tournament to find out which one is worse. The semi-finals brings us two movies that follow the old adage, if you can't beat them, crossbreed them. AVP Requiem mixes two of the greatest sci-fi monsters of all time. With a bunch of pregnant women. While Prometheus mixes Ursula the Sea Witch and a toothy vagina. Poor unfortunate souls in pain, in need. In Prometheus, we find out that the Xenomorph started off as a, uh, revered? Biological weapon created by the engineers. Then it turns on them and kills every engineer except for one who's put in stasis and oh my god, I'm already bored of these guys. <laughs> In AV Pre-Requiem, the only thing we learn from these monsters is that the mixing of the races will lead to the destruction of small-town America. Wait, I'm not reading that right, am I? No, 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 you got it. National Guard gets called in and everything. The smartest thing AV Pre-Requiem did was make it so the whole movie was shot in the dark. What? Why? You can't sh** on what you can't see. Hmm, good point. AVP 2 was written and directed by the guys who did visual effects for Jumper, the third X-Men movie, and 300, just to name a few. That means this movie could have been a throwback to the original Alien, but instead we got the Jeepers Creepers guy fighting in a poorly lit basement. Prometheus is full of great looking tech and special effects, even in places that make absolutely no sense. What the hell was that? But nothing can explain young old guy Pierce. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he looks like someone left him out in the sun for too long. The only line he should have had is, KILL ME. He looks like he survived staring into the Ark of the Covenant. Wow, that's gonna take generations of cocoa butter. Yeah, I don't get that one, but I believe you, Daryl. Anyway, alright, what are we talking about? Oh yeah, makeup. Did someone put him in a food dehydrator instead of a cryopod? But seriously, uh, always use sunscreen, kids. Okay, now we're done. U-G-L-Y, you ain't got Come on, come on, stop, you stop, stop, stop. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. This is another tough decision. Prometheus attempted to give us a backstory. Now it's clear you two don't give a shit about rocks. But failed so hard it ruined the original. But Daryl, 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 yeah? Daryl, Daryl, Daryl. Uh -huh. I'm gonna make this real easy. AVP2 is worse because there is a motherfucking predalian and no motherfucking lights. Facts. So when it comes to AVP Requiem and Prometheus, AVP Requiem is worse. It's a wrap. Someone let me out of this chair. Well, the finals are set. Click the subscribe button to be the first to see AVP Requiem take on Predator 2 in the finals of our Alien vs. Predator vs. Aliens vs. Predator tournament, and let us know who you think should win with our hashtag AVPBAVP. Requiem? Damn near killed him. Stop it.